Today we're going to talk about the Pascal's principle. It's very simple. Let's suppose that we have a baker and this baker contains water or any other kind of liquid and there's a pistol over the liquid and inside the liquid there's an optic. So if we say we want to calculate the pressure which is exerted over the object, we will find that the pressure equals the pressure of the pistol plus the pressure of the liquid above the pistol and that will be the height of the liquid multiplied by its density and multiplied by the gravitational acceleration g so p will equal p1 which is for the pistol plus h rho g so let's suppose that we exerted more and more pressure over the pistol. Of course the liquid will not be compressed because uh, liquids are, cannot be compressed but at a certain point the baker will break down. So this means that the uh, pressure over the object increases as we increase the pressure over the pistol. So we can say that uh, at increasing the pressure of the pistol the pressure of the object or exerted on the object will be P uh, which is the pressure equals P1 of the pistol plus H rho G for the liquid plus delta P and this is for the uh, variation of the pressure exerted over the pistol. This is basically the Pascal's principle. It's used for something really really useful called the hydraulic press and this is um, using a U-tube in order to lift very very heavy objects by using simple weights so what happens is uh, there's a U-tube and uh, inside this U-tube there's a liquid and at both ends of the U-tube there are two pistols one of them is off a very small cross-sectional area compared to the other one and by putting very very simple weights on the small cross-sectional area pistol the other one will um, rise up in a proportional height because when the two pistols are found on the same horizontal plane the pressure exerted on both ends of the U-tube is actually the same so uh, it's a matter of proportion the equation for that will equal P, which is the pressure at both ends, equals the force exerted on a small piston over the cross-sectional area of the small piston, which will be F and A in lower cases, and at the same time, this equals the uh, force exerted on the large piston over the cross-sectional area of the large piston, and that would be F and A in upper cases or in capital letters. So by saying this we uh, can actually obtain another equation by saying that the work uh, that the two pistons uh, do is actually equal so uh, as equation of work work equals the force multiplied by the distance so we could name the distance moved by the uh, small piston y1 and that of the large piston y2 and by knowing the distance moved by the small piston we can actually know how much the large piston would um, move upwards so we would say F small multiplied by Y1 equals F capital multiplied by Y2 or in other words uh, F capital over F small equals Y1 over Y2 so the distance and the forces are actually inversely proportional so that was the Pascal's principle and um, how it's used in order to make the hydraulic press and the next time we will have applications over that. So until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.